Welcome back to Stinky Ditch Nursery, you happy gardeners. We've got Charlie on camera again. Say hello, Charlie. Hello. And today we're talking about potting up your hollyhocks. Um, here I have some hollyhocks, if you want to spin it in, Charlie. These I planted on the 21st of uh, February, and they've sprouted up. As you can see, they've started getting eaten and stuff. This is the thing with hollyhocks. They're very uh, uh, palatable to a lot of different things. So before we pot those up, I've got a couple of pots. I've got a label to label it with. I've got my glasses, and I've got some potting compost. Now this is, uh, just use a multi-purpose compost if you want to. It will have nutrition in it, and um, give it a bit of a sieve, though. It's nice to get all the big lumps out of it. Anyway, so, right, first, Charlie, if you can pop this down on the floor, we're going to give it a bit of a soaking. You want to give, uh, you don't want to take stuff out of a dry pot and put it up. You want to get a bit of water in there. You can see that's draining through nicely. And we'll get our pots. Charlie, if you can spin up here again. Pop a little bit of compost in the bottom of each pot. I'm going to do a couple here. And then we get our hollyhocks up. Now, they have uh, had a bit of water go through it. I can feel it dripping out the bottom, so that's good. And we just tip it out into a hand like this. You can see all the roots growing around there. And then we try and split it apart as gently as possible. You really don't want to be disturbing these roots any more than you have to. So big old lump like that. I'll take a bit of that out. And we'll pop him in there like that. Bit of compost around the edges like this. Give him a bit of a pop. Tap him down like that. Stick the label in it. Stick him on the floor. Give them another little bit of a soaking, like that, and there we go. Now we're going to stick that in the greenhouse for a couple of weeks, then I'm going to harden them off to outside conditions. I'm going to keep them out of the way of slugs and snails as well, because I don't use slug pellets, so I just have to put them in places that are inaccessible to them. And uh, once that grows a bit bigger, I'll show you how to plant them out. Now hollyhocks, this won't flower this year, it will flower next year. And um, I've just seen my father and mother-in-law turn up, I'd better get over to them. Anyway. This has been Robbie Phoenix and Charlie on camera down at Stinky Ditch Nursery. If you don't want to grow this stuff, buy some off of us.